What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to add our profile pictures to our blog post for our app with Flask and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add our profile pics to the blog posts. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to add our profile pictures and our little about section thing down here for every blog post page. And you can see I've made this blog post. It's my blog post. I have an image, so it shows up. If we go back to our post and we click on Tim's post, Tim doesn't have an image, so his you know default profile picture gets added. He also doesn't have a profile typed in, so it says no author profile added. We'll, we'll do both of those things in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the sublime text editor in the git bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other flask videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over to our templates and our post page. And this is the page that has our blog posts. And you can see right here a few videos ago, we already put in this about section. So if the poster has an about section, go ahead and you know output that. But what if they don't have an about section filled out? Well, we could just throw in an else statement right here real quick. And then we could say uh, author has no about profile yet. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know, something like that. So, okay. And in the same part here, we want to add another section that sort of puts the profile picture up. So, let me just type in some bootstrap here. So we're going to use some divs and some classes just to sort of get that look. You could see where the image is here and we've got a little box around here. We're basically going to use a card for this and some classes. So this is just pure bootstrap. Uh, I've got a course on bootstrap. If you're interested in learning this stuff, I'm just going to type this in. So this is going to be a class equals. We want a card. We want it to be MB dash three. That's just sort of like a, a certain size of a card, right? And this needs to be in quotation marks. There we go. Uh, we also need another div with a class of row. And we want here no gutters. So there's no spaces there. And then we also want a div with a class of call dash MD dash two. And this is where we're going to put our profile picture. So let's just say profile pic for now, right? So we can close that div. Now we also want a div with a class equals call dash MD dash 10. And this is where the about section will go. And inside of here, we want another div with a class equals card body. This is where the actual text will go, right? And let's give this an H5 with a class of card dash title. And right here, let's just put in the author's name. So that's post.poster dot name. Right? So we close that H5 tag. And here is where the actual card text goes. And I'm going to put a P tag in here just to uh, make this all look nice. And this will be class equals card text. And then here's our author stuff. All that stuff goes there. And we close that P tag. Tab this over if we want. Whatever. And then here we can close all of our other divs. One, two, three, I think maybe one more. Yeah. So if we click on this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look at this and just to see how that works. We didn't put the picture in yet, but it says profile pic. So we can at least kind of look at it and see is this looking right. So let's head back over to our app, hit reload. Okay. And we hear, we see here it says profile pic. And then there's the author. And then there's that thing. If we go to John Elder's one that I did earlier. Okay, so now we just need the profile picture. And we kind of already know how to do this from our dashboard. We sort of put the same kind of code in there, right? So we can easily do that. So up here where it says profile pic, first, we need some logic. We need to say, hey, is there a profile pic, right? So let's go if post dot poster dot profile underscore pic. And this post dot poster, we set all this up way back when we did the, you know, video for this blog post page, as we're just calling the model, and there's a foreign key that links the post to the user. And that's, you know, poster, basically. So we can say post dot poster dot profile pick. So if that exists, then put up pick. 
and let's say else default pick, and then let's end our if. Okay. Right? So if there is a picture, put up the pick. If not, put the default pick up. So instead of put up the pick here, obviously we want the actual picture. So that's an IMG SRC tag. And we want to give this a width of, let's say, 150. And let's give it an align of left. All right. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So that'll be the same. And here we just need the, the thing from our dashboard, right? So we can come down here and find our profile picture. Here it is. Uh, that's sort of it. And we can use that. So let's copy that and paste that in. But instead of current user dot profile pick, this is going to be post dot poster dot profile pick, right? Okay. Now for here, for the default, same thing, we can grab this guy from our default thing on our dashboard. Oops. And that goes right there. But let's see. Yeah, that looks good. So okay, let's go ahead and save this head back over here, see if that worked. And we can click on here and boom, there it is. Now this isn't quite lining up. We did something wrong there. I'll have to look at that. Uh, but let's see for Tim's. Yeah, that's not lining up either. So what did we do? Let's see. Ah, right here. Put equal 10. That should be dash 10. Okay. Go ahead and save that. That should fix that. Head back over here. Boom. There we go. And if we come back over here and try Tim's post. I see it. There's nothing there. We got the default picture there and we're good to go. So pretty easy to add our profile pictures to our blog post and we are coming right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. That's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.